thought our guys played uh, well uh, throughout most of the game. Uh, it was great to see. Uh, you know, we, we get, we've been getting some great production from Ben off the bench. Uh, it was great to see Daniel step up uh, tonight and hit some big shots. Uh, he hit some, some shots, uh, some timely shots for us, which was terrific to see. Uh, I thought Mo was good the entire game. Uh, his energy, <coughs> excuse me, his uh, mental awareness uh, was terrific. Uh, running the ball club the entire game. Uh, I thought, uh, uh, you know, a, a key, especially in the second half, was uh, our ability to keep our turnovers down. Uh, throughout most of the series in the second half, <clears throat> we've come out in the second half and turned the ball over. And I thought our guys did a nice job of uh, taking care of the basketball, uh, which was good to see. Uh, you know, a term that I used earlier with Mo, uh, I got to apply that to the entire team. I thought our mental awareness was there, our focus was there prior to the game, during the game, uh, and especially uh, down the stretch. Uh, LeBron was huge for us. Uh, as you know, uh, we didn't do anything tricky. We just gave him the ball right there at what we call the nail and uh, said, get us some good looks, big fella. And he did it. He had a heck of a game. Uh, I, I didn't even realize he had a triple-double, uh, but he had a heck of a, a game with that triple-double. That's what great players do. Great players uh, put the team on the back, and everybody steps up when that ball comes to them. But you have a great player like LeBron that makes plays, and that was great to see tonight. More, just as important, uh, he was making plays for us all offensively, but as a team down the stretch, our defense was pretty good. And that's what it has to continue to be. We have to continue trying to find ways to get good stops down the stretch. Mike, uh, in the fourth quarter specifically, LeBron went to the, the foul line, the high post. Was that something that you guys saw in game films coming into this? Was it something that maybe one of the assistants said to you during the game, hey, maybe we should get him there because he was literally posting up with his back to the basket and then attack? Well, you know, it's a play uh, that uh, we started running the last game. Uh, and, and really, it's something that we had, had all year uh, that uh, we could go to if we wanted to go to it. and because uh, there are other options or other things that Mo and Brian can do. Uh, but we just felt that that would be open with the way that they were trying to double team LeBron. And uh, uh, it just gave him an opportunity to make plays minus the double team. And if they chose to double, then he was going to pass the ball. And we just had to, guy, we had to have guys uh, on the perimeter make wide open shots because uh, it's tough to double right there. Or uh, whoever our big is, is, whoever our big was in at the time, he just got to be ready to catch and dunk if Dwight steps up too high on LeBron. So, uh, you know, it's something in our package that we went to, uh, some in the last game, obviously more this game. Steve Smith with NBA TV. Coach Brown, you guys hadn't shot the three ball in the first four games. You guys shot 50% tonight. How big was that tonight for you guys to win? Steve, first of all, how you doing? Good. I'm doing good, thank you. Uh, it, 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 it was huge for us um, tonight. Uh, you know, uh, with the way that they're going to pay attention to LeBron, uh, you know, guys are going to get some good looks, and uh, hey, we just got to step in and we got to shoot them with confidence. Uh, we have confidence in one another. We trust one another. Uh, and when you have a guy that's as great as a great a player as LeBron that has the type of trust and confidence that he has in, in the rest of his teammates. Uh, you're going to get some looks because he's going to find you. And uh, Mo and, and, and Gibb did a terrific job of stepping up and, and knocking down that three ball tonight. Yeah, Mike, uh, in the fourth quarter, we saw uh, LeBron playing a lot more on uh, Turkaloo. Uh, is that something that you might use more in, uh, in game six? Uh, we may. Uh, you know, Delante, we thought, did a, a solid job on him uh, in, in the first half. Um, and, and he's done a solid job on him throughout most of the, uh, most of the series. Um, Delante was hurt, and so uh, it gave us an opportunity to put Wiley on Richard and, and uh, 
uh, LeBron on turbo glue, and uh, LeBron did a, a heck of a job when he when he did card him. Mike, you're up 22, which is not, not a familiar thing this series, but then you outscored it by 30, you're down eight. What are you thinking at that point? What adjustments did you make? Uh, you know, we, we, they're, a, they're a good team, and we have to understand that uh, they're going to go on runs. They're going to go on runs where they uh, shoot the three uh, very well, and they may hit two or three of them in a row. Our biggest thing is we can't hang our head, uh, and we have to keep trying to attack uh, on the offense end of the floor and keep flying around on the defense end of the floor. We can't afford to against these guys because of the way they shoot the ball, because of the way they score. We can't afford to hesitate. Uh, by being down at all. We have to keep pushing. We have to keep trying to be the aggressors. And during that stretch, uh, the reality of it is we returned the basketball over. You know, in that first half, we had eight turnovers for, for 16 points. So we were attracted to have 16 turnovers for 32 points. And, you know, at this level, that, that's hard to win when you, when you do do that. So we got to take care of the basketball. Uh, we have to continue trying to box them out. And any 50-50 ball, we have to come up with. And if we do that, uh, we'll have a better chance of sustaining the runs that they're going to go on because they're going to go on runs of threes and they're going to go on scoring runs. We just got to keep staying aggressive offensively. Mike, you have three of your other four starters who are not leaving LeBron James in double digits. How big was that for you? Uh, it's, it's huge. This team, obviously, this when I say this team, Orlando can score basketball very well. So we have to have guys step up and uh, make plays and knock down shots when they're when they're open. And uh, our guys did a nice job of that tonight. That was uh, it was fun to see. And what about LeBron? Obviously, we all saw what he did on the court, especially in the fourth quarter. But what are the other little things that you see him do, either on the bench or just pulling over a teammate, that kind of thing? Uh, you know, he, he's, he's our leader. There's no doubt about it. He's grown tremendously in that area <clears throat> in the short amount of time that I've been with him. And, you know, it was great to see not only as he uh, led our team this year and he's doing throughout the playoffs, but he, when I did watch the Olympic team, whether it was in practice or uh, in a game situation, he was doing the same thing. So uh, his growth in that area is off the charts. And, uh, you know, we all follow him. You know, we all follow him. He, he does, I mean, he's, like you said, he's uh, uh, showing confidence in his teammates. He's uh, encouraging them. He's talking strategy offensively. He's talking strategy defensively. Just his mental awareness, uh, uh, whether it's on the floor during the game or in the huddle, is, is off the charts. And, you know, we, we have to continue to have that from him. That's what great players do. Last question. Um, Coach, over here. Uh, you spoke about shooting with confidence, and um, you know Gibson's been struggling, you know, um, over the past couple games, but obviously not today. It seemed like the crowd obviously helped him out, almost like a support group. But when he goes to Orlando, he's no longer with that support group. Are you are you confident that he can produce like he did today? And if so, why? I'm confident that he can because I trust him. Thank you. That's it. Yeah, close.